This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. For today's valued viewer request is from Nicholas Crown. This is quite a long one, so sit tight. Hey GR, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing very well and are safe, are you? Viewer request, again, I hope this gets through. In DCS, depending on the plane, the damage model are either highly accurate or simple. Mm, yeah, I'd agree with that. Putting it lightly, so my question is... If several planes are flying in a vertical stack like pancakes on top of each other with a bit of spacing between them, can you get collateral shot? What I mean is, what I mean by this is if you fire a round, comma, you could you could run tests from simple ground shots up to from simple rounds, sorry, up to 40 mil burt rounds. Uh, I'm not sure if this is possible. Uh, armor piercing tank rounds. The round would go through the first plane and impact the second, third, fourth, etc. However, I'm guessing the damage model however plays a part where shooting through a wing is easier than the engine section uh the four factors so what he's asking is is penetration modeled you know will the bullet go through one plane come out and damage the, the other one and if it is how is it modeled is it plane specific whatever if the four factors the four factors to test if this concept is modeled is uh, one does the type of round fired impact, so an AP round go through further than a high explosive round? Does the location of the round when hitting the plane, wing versus cockpit versus engine impact carry through ability? Fair comment. So in real life, hitting an engine would be harder to penetrate than hitting a tail or a, or a wing. Three, does the age material of the plane impact the round? Modern aircraft made of composites, while older planes are simpler, less armored metals. The only problem though, how are you going to line the planes up vertically to run them through? Hope you all are fun testing this, Nick. Right, so let's think about what we can and can't do. Can we shoot them in the air? No, not possible. Can we line them up side by side and shoot through them with a ground vehicle? We can probably just about do this. Do we think penetration is modelled? Absolutely no idea. Possibly. In my way of thinking, it would actually be easier to model it than not modelling it, if you know what I mean. It would be easier just to draw a vector through all of those planes and say, that got hit, that got hit, that got hit, that got hit. Now it says, the question is about will shooting different parts of different planes affect penetration? I mean, it'd be great if it was modelled. It would be highly unlikely that it was. And the reason is my understanding of DCS is that DCS owns the bullet or the missile or whatever's being fired. DCS application XC owns that and it fires and and it controls that bullet or that, that missile. And when it hits something an aeroplane when it makes contact it passes that damage over to the module which is heat blurs f14 or eds you know p47 or whatever and says this you know i've done this many damage points to you at no point as far as i'm aware does the module come back to the eg engine and say oh by the way um ed owned bullet or missile uh, you hit this part of me therefore you should reduce your velocity by this amount as far as i'm aware it doesn't work like that it's always from the master which is the ed owned part um, downward so I think probably which part we shoot with the plane will make no difference I think it will either go through and if it goes through it will just go through all of them or it'll have a little bit of intelligence and it'll say okay I've hit something I'm not going to go any further that would be my guess it was probably going to be as simple as that will AP and HE rounds make a difference in terms of passing through maybe I guess we'll have to see anything you want to add to that before we go and shoot your face I'll see nope Welcome to the first test. First things first, just get the basic thing answered. Is penetration there? If it is, we can expand. If it's not, we'll just put it to bed. That's the end of it. Oh. Yes, I see. Sorry. What's up? No. So we've got uh, five times F-15s. They are proper. Oh. Yes, I see. Something's going on. I can't. I keep firing for some reason. Okay. All right. Stay out. Let me get out of here. As we were saying, we've got five times F-15s. They are proper movable AI F-15s. To keep them still, all I've done is I've turned their fuel off they've got no fuel so the damage model should be there and maybe not identical but close one was already damaged i'll see if you shot one already yeah that was me hmm. next let's get a um uh, a round let me get in my truck we need to make sure that our turret or our firing point is co you know is in line with the fuselages of the planes which they are as you can see out of well luck basically so i'm oh, aiming is. at the front plane sorry at the rear plane like that to make sure we get all of them and we're now gonna go forward edge forward like that make sure I don't change the height make sure I get all of them and that should be all of them 
Right, I'll see. I'm going to start firing. Can you go in F11 free cam or whatever and just start looking at the nose cones of these planes? I should be hitting yeah. all of them. Fired. Okay, see damage on the front one, on the first one. Yeah. Not on the second one. Ooh, that's not what I thought or would happen. Third. Right, I'm going to put a few more no. shots down range. Okay, I've blown my whole nose cone off. <laughs> yeah, obviously you can see the other ones. Yeah, no, no damage. Yeah, and I've checked. I was definitely aiming at them. Wow. So, there is no penetration, at least for the half-inch BMG. Now, that is not what I was expecting to happen. So, what it's doing, obviously, is it's hitting that plane, and it's telling it, terminate the round at that point. Okay? Right. So, um, next, let's step it up. I'm going to jump into Bradley real quick. We'll go for high explosive, and um, see, it probably won't go through, but we'll try. Stand by as I try and... Why can't you change? I don't have, uh, it just doesn't have armor piercing in it. Right, I've got a, I got a 25 mil high explosive round. Let me just double check, I can't change. Where are you shooting? I'm shooting at the nose cone of the front one. Okay. It will hit that, and it's also aiming at all of the others behind it. So, right. one round in 25 mil, three, two, one, go. No. I'm just going to confirm that on my side. Uh, there's no damage on the first. Yeah, I just, I got two bits of damage uh, text to come up, and I thought, ooh, maybe not. Okay, let's try again. No visual. Well, it's, it's already blown up. The nose cone's already blown up. That's why. Won't take any more oh, damage. I'm looking at the, I, I wasn't even looking at that one. I thought you were shooting past that one. No, I'm shooting at the first one. I'm going to try the first oh, okay. one again. Okay. Nothing? Nope. Right. What I'll do is I'll bypass the first one now. Maybe, you know, maybe it won't go through anymore. I'm now going to shoot through the second one. Firing one round, 25 mil explosive. I think that might be hitting the one in right in front of me. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's still got a damage model there. Uh, do it one more time. I think I saw it coming. Stand by. Here. Three, two, one. Ooh. No, it <laughs> hit this one. Yeah. Right. Definitely no. Definitely, there's definitely no penetration there because the one no, behind would be no. blitzed. Right. For some reason, I really thought it would go through, but. I'm going to try an Abrams with armor-piercing round standby. Right. Well, try and look at your best. I'm going back from the nose. I'm going under the cockpit now. That's where I'm going, okay. and I can guarantee I'm hitting all of them in terms of aim. Three, right. two, one, fire. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did they all die? No, they're all right. fine. So it definitely does terminate. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Wait. Yeah, it's just hitting my guy. Oh, yeah, I see. How, are, how is he holding up to that? It's just not designed. It's not designed to accept <laughs> armor-piercing shots. as simple as that. All right. Yeah. No. In theory, uh, I'll say it wouldn't actually do a great deal of that. I mean, it would make a hole through it, a hundred mil hole. It wouldn't actually yeah. blow anything up, though. If you know what I mean. Not, not really. It would just go through it like paper. I'll do one more just to make sure. Pilot is like whatever. I'd carry on shooting, mate. I don't mind. Right. Yeah, well. Second one is fine. I, I expected a whole day of testing because I thought a uh, half inch ball would go through. I thought twenty five mil would go through. I thought one hundred and what's that? One hundred and twenty mil. Armor piercing we go through. Obviously, it would in real life. It's just not designed to in this because they probably thought, why would I even bother modeling that right? You know, at what point is a bullet going to hit a plane and go into another plane? You know, who's going to, you know, which Eeyore is going to spend time? No one's going to do that, okay? So, it just doesn't work, okay? And that's fine. Um, as we've got time to burn, RC, why don't we check line of sight damage penetration for HE? Uh, for an explosion. If I leave viewers, before we do the explosion test, just want to double check the same thing but with ground vix that we have no penetration per se, so let's just quickly make sure of that. RC, can you do damage control, BDA, on the ground vix? Okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. Nope. Same thing, so no, uh, let me just double check my side. Yep, no penetration. Right, that's the end of that. There is no bullet slash shell penetration in DCS. Put that one to bed. Next, what we're going to do, I'm going to reset it. RC is going to drop a GBU-12, first of all, on that tyre there. Sorry, I can't zoom in for some reason. But that tyre there, and see if the splash damage goes through. It probably will, but it's just worth investigating. And then we're going to put a GBU on that tyre there, and see if the splash damage goes through. We're going to use a laser-guided variant to make most accuracy. Now this should be accurate to within about two feet, or maybe Easy. even closer, so I'm quite excited. I am excited. We need to do a splash damage video at some point, but later on. Oh, good accuracy, I'll see. That is so accurate. That's friggin' unbelievable. Alright. 
Right, well done. Well, that's interesting because it didn't do any damage to the next one, which was only... Yeah, that's the problem at DCS. It's right next to it. That's interesting. Yeah, the but thing it, is... it needs to be on top of it. That hasn't really proved either. Yeah. We'll go and do it onto the aeroplane then, because aeroplanes will take damage from miles away, okay. obviously. Inch perfect, please! Oh, God, that was lovely. Yay, it worked! Look at that. Probably smashed them up. Technically still alive, but it is obviously smashed to pieces. The next one, smashed to pieces. The next one, fragmentation damage. And no... And fragmentation damage, and... No damage. So, we had damage through them in a decreasing amount, roughly, up to, and sorry, this is in miles, but up to 0 0.06 nautical miles, whatever it is. I'm happy with that. So, we're happy to say bullets, shells, penetrate into the vehicle, but they don't come out the other side uh, and go through others. Splash damage from a high explosive does also go through. I don't even know why we tested that. I suppose we just did. And the splash damage to the armoured vehicles is so low, it appears, that we couldn't test it properly in these. We'll probably do another video about splash damage. You know, what kind of radius it does, affects the different vehicles, with different vehicle aspects, different vehicle armours, but that's not today. Uh, anything you want to add to that, RC? I think that uh, splash damage has been an issue in DCS for All right. a long time. Well, yeah, we'll cover that in another one, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.